Hey Polish fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. Today I'm bringing you the first in a series where I'm going to be going over unique polishes in my collection. Now these polishes can have unique combinations of glitter, interesting contrasts between the other components and the base, or just all together stand out in my collection as being a completely unique combination of all of the components in a polish. So let's dive right into part one. The first polish is going to be this one here. Just to give you a little sample on the nail. And this one is going to be a noodles nail polish called Autumn Splendor. And this is a beautiful purple leaning burgundy and it is loaded up with these components that are going to show in sort of a copper and gold. You've got some holographic components as well in a few different sizes that are going to provide an interesting flash of uh, color there. I believe I see flakies as well. So they're going to provide a beautiful contrast against that deep base. Really pretty fall color. You can see all of those beautiful components there on the edge. And you can see that the base too has a little bit of that purple leaning there towards the edge. So even the base has this really pretty, rather complex color to it. Pretty, pretty polish. So again, this one is Noodle's Nail Polish, Autumn Splendor. Up next is one from Emily Damali. This one is Be Still and Know. And this one is a magnetic. This is a completely unique polish. The base is this multi-chrome that shifts from this murky green with gold and bronze flashes to it. And then it has these pink glitters in it, holographic glitters, blue glitters. It is so, so unique. An interesting contrast between those glitters and the base. And this is what it looks like magnetized. So it's really going to pull out that gold into the magnetic line. And that base, once it's magnetized, is going to flash and shift. You're going to see that blue flash of the shimmer. And the base will turn more of that multi-chrome, which will shift from blue to purple. And then you're going to be able to see those glitters as well against the base. And this shifts really amazingly in real life. On camera right now, it's not capturing the intensity of the shift. When I was doing the swatches last night in different lighting, it was changing color spectacularly. It's a beautiful, unique polish there. And again, that one was by Emily Damali. Be still and know. And we'll just do a little bottle shot of the magnetic as well. see all of the colors that those glitters shift to as well. Really cool. Up next is one by EDK, Esmaltis de Kelly. And this one is Butterfly Wings. This was a PPU polish. And this is a glitter bomb. It is so amazing. And it's not just glitter. As you can see right there, there's also flakies. So this polish is so complex and it can be made 
opaque in two to three coats on its own. Also will make a beautiful topper over other colors. The variety of color mixes that she put in here is really cool. You've got these purples and pinks, blues, aquas. Those flakies are going to shift to a bunch of different uh, colors. You've got green, orange, yellow, pink. And this is what that one looks like on the nail swatch. And I believe this one was just two coats. Very pretty color mix there. I love the blue glitters that are coming out as well. You can see a little bit of holographic there. Very pretty polish. And very unique. Again, that was EDK Butterfly Wings. Up next is a color from Poetry Cowgirl. This one is Cowgirls at Carnival, and this was a limited edition release. Also a glitter and flaky bomb. And I thought the combination of this was really unique. You've got all of those, I believe, multi-chrome flakies in there, providing a rainbow of color. And all of that silver glitter and holographic in there. Really fun color combination on the nail. And I think this one may be sheer enough that you could use it as a topper. But again, this is packed enough that you could get it opaque on its own. And on the nail swatch, here it is. You can see all of those components. Party on the nail for sure. Very pretty. And I believe she had an entire carnival collection. So this is just one of them. This was the flaky glitter bomb. She also had a fun glitter mix that was in smaller particles. And I believe she had a glitter mix in larger particles as well. So a nice variety depending on how you want to use it, how you want to wear it, and they all look different from each other as well, so a really fun little collection. Again, that was Poetry Cowgirl. Cowgirls at Carnival. Up next is one by Bohemian Polish. This one is Crystal Method. And I believe this was also a polish pickup release. This is a lovely soft pinkish purple base loaded up with these pastel glitter mix as well as black and gray. So very unique, very unique to my collection. I think this is a unique polish in general as well. You can also see there's a, a little bit of bright turquoise in there. Some of the polishes or the glitters in here are a little bit on the matte side. Some of them have that little sparkle to them. You can also see there's little bitsy glitter bits in there as well. So a really fun combination. Oh, that's a good side. There you go. You can see all of the pastel colors. You've got pink, purple, aqua, yellow, and then those black ones in a few different shapes there. You can see that some are square, some are hexagonal, and they're also in different sizes. This is going to look really neat on the nail, sort of a speckled effect with a, a, that neat glitter mix. And just to show you what a second look of what you can get with that polish on the swatch ring here. Nice soft delicate shade for spring. And again, that one was Bohemian Polish, Crystal Method. 
Up next is one from Glam Polish. This one is Don't Get Tied Down. And this is another one that has just a really fun mix of glitter in it, as well as flakies. So you've got this really intense turquoise base loaded with some neon glitter. You've got a little dot glitter in various sizes. You've got a little bit of iridescent shimmer there as well as scattered holographic. Beautiful color combination and very fun on the nail as well. You can see that comes off looking kind of like a pool party. Just very fun. You can see little teeny tiny yellow glitters in there as well. And another example of that on the swatch wheel here. You can see some neon green, neon pink, a little bit of lighter pink there. Very fun and unique polish. And again, that one was Glam Polish. Don't get tied down. Up next, we have one by Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This one is called Dream Catcher. And this is a really pretty color for fall. It's this sort of dusty turquoise with copper and red and gold glitter mixes in it. Very unique color combination in there against that turquoise base. I believe I see some purple in there as well in a smaller particle. Very pretty. And again, you can also see that some of those glitters are holographic, so they're going to sparkle through all of the colors of the rainbow. Beautiful effect on the nail. I think some of that copper glitter is a little on the matte side, which is going to add a nice contrast to those holographic glitters. And just to show you how the color compares to that glam polish from before, you can see that the glam polish is a bit of a brighter turquoise. And with the pretty beautiful unlimited, it's a bit on the dusty side. Beautiful, beautiful combination there. And there you go. I think you can see one of the flakies there. So again, a really neat combination by Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. And that one was Dreamcatcher. Up next is another glam polish. This one is called End of the Rainbow. And this one reminds me of bubblegum ice cream from when I was a kid. Anyone else remember that? It was this bright blue ice cream full of rainbow gumdrops. And this polish is this light blue, full of glitters in all the colors of the rainbow, as well as this shimmer in this pink tone. Beautiful and very fun combination. Had to get this one. Just so fun and unique. You can see all the different color variations. We've got green, red, pink, yellow, blue. I think we've got all of those colors too in various shades of those colors. So lots of variety. And to show that on the nail ring, you can see here it is a lighter blue base for all of those beautiful glitters to pop off of. Very, very fun. And you can wear this as a full mani or petty, or you can have them as accent nails and wear the rest of your nails in just about any other color you can possibly think of. So again, another beautiful, fun polish 
apply glam polish end of the rainbow and lastly in this little grouping is one by Penelope Luce and this one is called Epica this one was from Hella Handmade Creations in January 2020 and this is a beautifully deep blackened purple base and in here you've got a beautiful contrasting glitter mix of red and orange some of them is holographic I believe you even have some speckling of black glitter in there as well very unique polish because of that contrast between the purple base and those glitters really unique and very fun combination as well I think this one will be perfect to wear in fall and here's how it looks on the nail wheel here got that beautifully deep base with all of those glitters popping off of there now on this swatch I didn't really get any of those really big glitters so I'm sure you can have an even more uh, contrasted look on the nail when you get those in your manicure a beautifully deep color there and I love that glitter mix that she used so again, that one was Penelope Luce Epica. So that's it for part one of my unique polishes. Stay tuned for part two. Let me know down below which one was your favorites or which is your favorite unique polish in your collection or any that you've been keeping an eye out. I know Polish Pickup has a number of really unique polishes coming out this month. So make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in that next video.